Okay, next part of uh, Google Analytics is acquisition. This is very important in terms of like where you should expand, where you should spend the money on. So in this you can check it out uh, which from which sources you are getting the uh, people from whether they are coming direct they are uh, coming through organic they are coming through referrals they are coming through social whether they are coming through display ads whether they are coming through paid ads or others so you will get to know or you get an idea about it so direct means the people who are come, who are typing your url that is direct organic is basically people who are searching on google yahoo bing any search engine Next is referral. Referral is basically you have placed a link on some other website or somebody else has placed your link on website and people are coming through that. Next is social. Social is basically the uh, people are coming from social media networks like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, and the next is display. This is basically the display ads run by Google AdWords. And next is others, others like email. Then next is paid search. That is the search, uh, paid Google ads you are running on search engine. Okay, so these are the seven type of uh, ad. Uh, these are the basic seven type of sources of ads. If you are able to understand all the seven type of sources, then press one. If not, press two. And which you are not able to understand, write that as well. Okay, everyone says yes. So let's proceed further. Okay, now you have to analyze which network is performing better or not, which source is performing better or not. Like if you're uh, direct, indirect, you cannot control it because people are typing the URL, you cannot do much about it. But what you can control is on other networks like organic search. If I click on organic search, it will show me all the keywords through which people are coming to my website. Google is very intelligent. It does not show you the data over it. Remember, we have done Google Webmaster. Over, over there, it has shown the data from where the people are coming, from which keyword they are coming. Over here, it does not show you the data. I don't know why, but they are not giving the data. So you what you can do is you can just analyze the other results which are showing like the keywords uh, through which people are coming to my website on which keyword should i focus on and all those details okay so this is one thing you should be focusing in terms of organic but in terms of paid ads you can check it out each and everything in detail which accounts you have over here let me take you some old data so that I can have something to show exactly let me take it from first trip till here so you will be getting some certain clicks so you can see how much money is being spent out how many clicks will be there what is the average CPC how many people have been converted out of it so if I click on sunu.com, then you can see that I have been running these campaigns, uh, how many clicks have been happened, what is the cost of it, how many, what is the CPC of it, how many sessions has happened, what is the bounce rate of it, okay, how many pages has been viewed, what is the goal conversion rate of this particular campaign. So you can check it out each and everything about the campaign in detail, like if I click on search campaign, then I will get to know about the ad groups. Remember if we, what we have done in ad groups. So it will show you all the ad groups on which people have clicked. If you click on that particular ad group, even you will get to know about which keyword exactly got the maximum conversion for you. That is how it works. It is very easy now to track. Meme says I do not understand referral. Like I will be explaining you. Just hold on, Meme. Okay, I got. I have seen your message a bit late. Sorry for that. Okay, so in this way you can check it out how your Google AdWord is performing. Because over here you just you can check it out like which keyword is getting clicked, what is the CPC, what is the book cost. But here you can check out the engagement levels, the page, the bounce rate, and everything. 
So you can analyze the results more if you want to see all the columns of all the rows of it. Just click, select the rows and it will show you all the keywords. Right. Like this, if you have more than that, that depends upon you. It gives you an option of maximum size. Okay, and if you want to next, then click on next, and then it will show you the next set of keywords. Okay, so this is an AdWords. Uh, the first one was Google search uh, search campaign. Now social, if I click on social, it will tell you how people are coming to your website, how many people are coming from Blogger, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. If you click on Facebook, so uh, so what they are doing, which page they are browsing, how many pages they are browsing, and everything, every detail you get it from there. So this is basically social, and the last one is campaigns. If I click on campaigns, then it will show me all the paid campaigns only. Okay, if I go to overview, and let me explain you the referrals. If I click on referrals, there is no such column over here, but if you click on overview and then call, uh, then referrals, then it will show you from where you are getting the referrals, like I am getting from my website itself. Then what is constant contact is an email marketing service from where I am getting the people. I am getting the people from this website, I am getting the people from Uptime, I am getting people from Outlook.Live.com and from all these websites. So you get to know from which websites you are getting the referrals, if you are getting good amount of referrals and if you are getting good amount of conversions, then what you have to do is, you should start running Google Ads or you can talk one to one to those website owners and place ad on that, that particular website. So that is about uh, the reference. I hope now you are able to understand the acquisition part of the